All right, Shalom, Malcolm. Shalom. Before we begin, we're gonna start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba Hashem, Rakhakadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, GMS, the men who move well and teach well. And uh, I just want to say peace and salutations be unto your fellow Akim, your brothers that are also pushing out this word in true faith and in sincerity. All right, and in this video, um, if, if the Lord wills, it, it's, it's going to be titled something along the lines of um, being optimistic prophets. All right, optimistic uh, prophets, meaning the word optimistic, when you look it up, it essentially means to um, to be to hope for good about everything. You know, to have a have that mindset of having a, uh, a goodly outcome to er to every which one of your uh, endeavors, man, you know? And of course, the uh, the antonym or the opposite of that word would to be uh, pessimistic, man. So we can, we can get the first precept. Mm -hmm. This is uh, the book of Psalms, chapter 51, verse 12. And it says, Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation and uphold me with thy free spirit. Come on. And um, actually, if we can get the, um, if we can go to the blue letter, and get and get the uh, the Hebrew word for that because I I forgot the Hebrew word, but I know under one of those definitions it literally means to repair, <laughs> mm -hmm. you know, or either to render or to return to, you know. So it said, uh, can you read it again? Yeah, Psalms fifty one verse twelve it says, "Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and uphold me with thy free spirit." Yeah, right. The joy of salvation, you know, because we we opened up saying all praise to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai and what, being uh, one of His men, you know, His cherished hopeful elect, right? Which Lord will we hope to be. We have to uh, also hope, you know, to be optimistic of the future, which literally that's the definition of hope, right? It also means what to 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 enjoy the, the things that accompany with salvation, you know, the, which there's many things that, that that accompany this truth when it, when uh, when it comes down to hoping into things, having faith that the Lord is going to bestow uh, the many of things that the Lord is going to bestow unto His men. Of course, what the joy of salvation being uh, uh, delivered from the upcoming uh, nuclear missiles, right? Which is the weapons of the Lord's uh, indignation, right? Being delivered from the enemies, all right, Esau, Edom, all right, the devil the Bible speaks of, right, the new bodies, right, immortality, you know. And I'm only scratching the surface, man. There's many, there's many things in the in the, um, in the scriptures that's written about uh, uh, what to those that wait for the Lord, you know, many many things, man, waiting for those men, and that's why we're we're hoping to be a part of that election, man. The 144,000, man, out of the out of the 12 tribes of Israel, man, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and even that in itself, knowing that we don't fall under those uh, uh, under those bywords, man. That's a blessing and a gift in itself, you know? Yeah, uh, you wanted the word for restore, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Hebrew word there is shawab, which means to mm -hmm. return, shawab. turn back, repent, basically. Right, shawab, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and, and I should say repair on, under one of those? Or to return? Uh, to bring back, to restore, refresh, repair. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, to refresh, you know? But, uh, what's the saying goes? To, to refresh your memory? You know, mm -hmm. refresh your memory of the things that come with your salvation, man. The joy, you know, rejoice in that. Because what? Being here in Babylon, we understand one thing, man. This is a, a pessimistic, fucking pessimistic-ass society, man. You know, these people in America, man, without the without the words of the Heavenly Father, man, these people are broken, all right? These people got no hope. <laughs> you know, and guess what? If they do have hope, what? Their hope is seen, man. You know? Their hope might be in a yacht that they're hoping to, to buy in like 50 years from now or something that they saw in a magazine. You know, what kind of hope is that, man? Hoping to see your uh, your, your children being raised here only to be, uh, only to grow up to be uh, rebellious or homosexuals or something, man. You know? Hoping to see, that, that, that that's stupid, man. That that's, that whole, that whole American dream is vain. Because what, we understand one thing, the, the secrets, according to the secrets of the scriptures, man, we understand one thing. This place is Babylon, and this is the Babylon that are to be destroyed, man. You know? So we don't hope in that. Got right, a quick one. Second Ezra 14 and 14. Let go from the mortal thoughts. Cast mm -hmm. away the burdens of man. Put off now the weak nature. Which mm -hmm. having that negativity in your mind, that's putting on weak nature. You know, that's something that you have to learn to put off, which comes with time. Yeah. And it says, and set aside the thought, verse 15, and set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee, and haste thee to flee from these times. Right. Yeah. That's going to lead link right into the next scripture in Micah 2 and 10, right? Yep. So, like I said here, set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee and hasty to flee from these times. Because we're living in times of uh, of evil, man. Uh, yeah. Right? Which means bad times. <laughs> right. You know, and, and when you're living in times of evil, what? The negativity tends to, to, to try to plague your mind. All right? Uh, uh, wickedness, anxieties, depressions, and things like that try to plague your mind. But we in this truth are learning to cast those things off and not let it weigh us down. Yeah, actually, before we get Michael, let's get the uh, Google definition of uh, yeah. pessimistic. 
Yeah, pessimistic is um, tending to see the worst aspect of things. And this is a regular Google definition. Mm -hmm. huh. Or believe the worst, or believe that the worst will happen. Uh, and I, and um, right now the brother's gonna read because uh, if you go into the Google definition, there's always a, a, a like a little a little list, yeah, a little list under it, which is yeah synonyms, which means like essentially the same word but with different. Uh, no, it's not like the same meaning but with different words. So yeah, this is um, some of it. gloomy, negative. Slowly. Yeah, gloomy, negative. Mm -hmm. Right. Defeatist. <laughs> okay. Downbeat. Mm -hmm. Cynical. Bleak. Um, fatal fatalistic. Dark. Black. Dark. Right. Yeah. You see that? And, and the, those are synonyms well, for for being a pessimist, man. Mm -hmm. You know, it's funny. Uh, pessimist. But it's not sound like being a pest. You know, hell, even negativity sounds like nigger. <laughs> you know. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so. And what the brother read in, uh, what was that, what, was that, was that in Ezra? Yeah, second Ezra's 14, 14. Yeah, man, so well, all these things, man, look, man, all those synonyms that the brother just read, man, that, that, that just goes along with being associated with just being weak, man. Those are some weak attributes, man. If I could say it too. Yeah. It's also the complete opposite of what uh, Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh wants us to be. Exactly. It's opposite of uh, what you are uh, when you come into the truth because the scriptures say that the spirit uh, quickens you. Right, mm -hmm. the spirit, the words that are speaking to you, their spirit is it is the spirit that quickeneth the words that are speaking to you, their spirit and their life. That's what Yahweh Shai said, right? Quicken means to be made alive. This says downbeat, bleak, you know, dark. Yeah, exactly. It's completely depressed is one of them. Dejected, demoralized, hopeless, mm -hmm. melancholy, which means like sad. I know, yeah, I know the Apostle Gabar went into that word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Know? Yeah, and it definitely caught my attention. It's definitely a, an unusual word to see, but. Right. I can say it's the complete opposite of uh, what a man of the Lord is supposed to be. It's funny because our life is filled with those things, you know. To an extent, we do catch hell. But yes. our, out, our our mindset is complete opposite. You know, our mindset mm -hmm. is, is hoping how about Shem Yahushai. Huh. Yeah, so, yeah, man, like the brother was saying, like, honestly, that those are just weak attributes, man. Ultimately, yeah. that's actually what Babylon pushes out, man. Yeah. Well, that, that's what Babylon pushes out to our people. Yeah. You know, just to be just be a Debbie down all the time, man, you know. Come on, man. Hey, as it is written, all, all these things that we're supposed to be uh, uh, have what hope, jo joyful thoughts, jo joyful uh, hell. The precepts in itself, man. To read it, that's that's a joy to us. That's, that's a right. healing. It's healing to us, you know. Oh, Yahushua is coming back. That, that's not. That sound right. We're not. We're not in that spirit, man. Yahushua yeah. is coming back with an exclamation mark. Yeah. <laughs> exclamation mark. He's coming so, back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's coming back like that. You know. <laughs> now legit, man. And you know, of course, you know, like the word melancholy. Yeah, we're in this place of mourning, you know, hey, King David called this place the valley in the shadow of death. But ultimately, what? You know, we're, we're the candles. We, 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 represent the, uh, we represent the light. Yeah, we can Yahweh see through Shem the darkness. Yahweh. Yeah, Yahweh Hashem Hashem. Did, did you read that in Micah yet? Nah. Yeah, go ahead. Micah 2 and 10. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Mm -hmm. Because it is polluted, it shall destroy you even with a sore destruction. All right, this place what? It's polluted. Wickedness. Wickedness surrounds every corner of this damn place, man. All right? And, and what? Our people... Um, because, like I mentioned before, one of the joys of salvation is also knowing who you are, man. Not mm -hmm. being subjected to byware that, that you were once uh, declaring yourself as, you know? Like like how I said, and, and the brother mentioned it, right? The um, being, um, basically what, receiving the word and what it, being able to see. Like, like a breath of life, which is mentioned in Ezekiel, I think it's the 37th or the 36th chapter, the Valley of the Dry Bones. We, we don't got to get it. 36, but in that, 37. In that book and chapter and verse, well, it mentions that, uh, of course, that valley in the... Um, that valley of dry bones was us, the children yep. of Israel at one point. But guess what? That breath of life, what it revived us essentially, man. Now we know who we are and guess what? We know what's coming now. And we know what's going on. You know, past, present, and future, man. And with that, what, why would you be pessimistic, man? You know? Of course, yeah, we're, we're you know, we're prophets of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. We have the understanding which what? Uh, he that increases the knowledge increases the sorrow. But there's a balance to it, you know? You know, yeah, of course, we're going to have our down and outs, but ultimately, we're supposed to be joyful, man, because what? Yahweh Shah's coming back, mm -hmm. and with him comes that, that victory, man. When we get into this church, we're not even going to know the word pessimistic, man. We're not going to be, we're not going to have that mindset at all. If I can say, there's a scripture in Luke where it says, I believe Luke 21, where it says, Ugh. when you see these things come to pass, look up for your redemption draweth yeah, nigh. It is look down. <laughs> yeah, right, it is say look down, you know, look up for your redemption draweth nigh, man. Because yep. that's that's the uh, that's what fills up our, our minds with hope at the end of the day, knowing that the hell we're catching is going to cease, you know, whatever it is, whether you have an ailment, whether you have, you know, a physical ailment, a spiritual ailment, man, an ailment of the mind, man. I got, I got you. I got what you quoted. Yeah. Hey, real quick. This is Luke 21 and 28. And when these things begin to come to pass, it says, then 
look up and lift up your heads, for your redemption draweth nigh. Mm -hmm. And also, what of course, Hamashiach Yahweh Shai's return, man. You know, being in the cha yep. chariots, actually, if you read verse 27, what, with great power and great glory. Yeah, that's right. You know, it's one of many things. So. If I can say, yeah, you should be filled with hope because if you're part of that number, Lord willing, we are, man. That promise of salvation is for you. Where it says in Malachi, he's going to come with healing in his wings, that's for you. Mm -hmm. You know, that's why you should be filled with hope. You know, if you have an ailment, the Lord's going to heal you. You know, we all really do because we're all in this crippled flesh. You know, we're all, you know, if, if we don't have physical ailments, man, we're sinning. That in itself is bad, you know? In the mind. Yeah, 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 yeah. right, right, right. So, ultimately, the Lord's going to come and heal us of this sinful flesh, man. And that's that's our hope. That's what fills us up with joy every every day. Yeah, so, this that's that's got two more. Sirach 2 and yeah. 9, ye that fear the Lord. So this, this goes to those that fear the Lord. Mm -hmm. Hope for good and for everlasting joy and mercy. Yeah, right. So who's going to fear the Lord, man? Ultimately, what? His prophets, because they're doing his bidding. The elect. The, yeah, they know the fear, and they're teaching other men of that fear. So what? You're going to prophesy. You're going to tell you. They're going to relay that message. You know? And it says, uh, can you read that one more time? Sirach 2 and 9, ye that fear the Lord. Hope for good and for everlasting joy and mercy. It, li it literally said ho hope for good. You know, and that's literally the total opposite of, of being having a pessimistic mindset, man. Mm -hmm. If you're a pessimistic man, you wouldn't even be believing in the scriptures, man. You know, you would, you, if anything, you'd be doubtful, man, that the Lord's coming back, man. We you know, the just being a definition for it. Just, yeah, just being a Debbie down all the time. So, uh, you, you can get if you want. Yeah, optimistic uh, Google yeah, says hopeful and confident about the future. Straight up. <laughs> yeah, which confident means with faith about the future, man. You know? Yeah, yeah. Everything you read about, what you you believe that you you have a firm uh, belief over that man, you know, from you firmly believe that the Lord is gonna come back, He's gonna save His people, all right. Of course, the the one hundred forty four thousand, and deliver us, man, and change us, and be like what uh, be like unto His image, man, to have that those immortal bodies, man, to live forever. That's a hell of a that's a hell of a hope, man. Yeah. And we and we believe that. But what he uh, he in this society, man, you got Esau, Edom, pulling the the the, the total. 160 to our people and literally having having a uh, worst belief ever man you know having a uh, just a, a, a broke back belief you know because what we're, we're basically what he gave us that belief that we're going to get that for you know that that what what you want to do you have to do it here in america you know a white pick a fence and, a, and a raise a family here in, in america the good old us of a yeah don't be like that jake that was on the ads for voting he said donald trump was god sent you know don't be wicked like that guy it says uh, some, 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 yeah, some synonyms, cheerful, cheery, positive, confident, hopeful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's our mindset, man. Because what, uh, like it says in Wisdom of Solomon, the third chapter, yes, they're hopeful of immortality. Because that's, that's what we're open for. Like, I remember I heard Elder Yahshua Wamba say in the video, man, we're ultimately fighting to, uh, to what, to, to be, to exist on this earth. We can't, you know, because right now, with you Esau, yeah, Esau, Edom, over us, we haven't lived yet, you know, because, mm -hmm. uh, you know, brothers look into certain pastimes and, and things. We have pastimes and things like that, right? We we haven't really been able to fully enjoy the beautiful things that the Heavenly Father has put here on earth, man. You know, the wildlife, the nature, the different smells and scents that the earth makes. We haven't even been able to enjoy any of, the, any of these things to the fullest like that. We're getting an, only an inkling of it right now. So uh, Yeah, so, and yeah, one of many synonyms I had on there was to be positive. You know, so we yep. have to be positive. Even in this hellhole, we're still positive, man. To the spirit yep. and power of Yahweh by Shemiel That's right. So, uh, we can get the last preset. But that wasn't the last one. Nah, it's one more. Right. Ecclesiastes. Good uh, one. Yeah, this is uh, Ecclesiastes. <laughs> so lucky. Let me go to it real quick. Yeah. Ecclesiastes, the third chapter, verse 1. To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. Yeah. You know, and that was his last piece up to kick it off. You know, I said to, to every season, there's a purpose. You know, even right now, there's a purpose purpose for every moment. You know, because right now, you know, if you, if you read down the list, it goes just into many, um, <laughs> actually, it goes into many uh, synonyms and basically the opposites of things. Yeah. You know, there's a time to mourn, there's a time to, uh, to be joyful, a time to weep, a time to dance, right? And guess what? Right now, yeah, and, and, and indeed, we're in the time of war right now, man, in the time of prophecy, you know, because what it was foretold that, that, that we would. Uh, that it would happen, man. The time of war, man. The time of uproars of the people. We're in that season right now, you know. But guess what? Afterward comes what? That salvation, man. The joy and what we have, we ought to uh, have joy in that salvation, like like we started off with in Psalms, man. You know, 
So this is just one of many things what we have to hope for and ultimately not being a pessimistic uh, demon all the time, man. Because really, if you think about it, it's just a demon. You don't have to be pessimistic all the time, man. To, have to, to expect the worst in every occasion, you know? So if you didn't have anything else, That's it. come on. You know, so those are the ones that was uplifting and as well as edifying. You know, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to our power. Again, the belongs to the apostles and elders that give most stone. The men who teach and rule well. And shalawam, mabarakim, halabakariam, shalayasra'ala. Peace and blessings to the elect of the nation of Israel. Shalawam. Shalawam.